Welcome back, Kiwi Yoinkers, and all other folk to Sunsaw Gaming. Uh, today, we have a match here in Himmelsdorf. Um, now, this is Firebolt, and he's driving the SP1C. Everything about this matchmaking is against him. He's in a light tank, he's on Himmelsdorf, it's a tier 8 match. It's, it's not looking very favourable for him. Plus, he's got two lights and a medium on the enemy side of the field that he will have to contend with here. Um, now I do apologise in advance, there is a little bit of lag in this video for the first section of it. It does clear up towards the later stages of this replay though. And just watch what Firebolt does. He basically, he's going to show you exactly what you need to do as a light tank driver. And it's going to show you every single scenario, like this one right here. He's staying with his teammate medium, he's spotted a tank that has pulled itself way out of position. and. They've gone and they've rounded it up and eliminated it. That is the first thing that you need to be doing with your light tanks, which Firebolt has demonstrated very, very good there. If a target isolates himself, get on top of them. If they are a tank that is by themselves, generally you can take them on in your light tank, especially if you've got support. Now, they are playing a very, very good game of uh, bumper cars here, him and their T44. But they do eventually sort it out and they stop bumping heads. Just look at this repositioning though. He has been in so many different places in this match. Now he doesn't fire there but he was waiting for his aim to come in. He didn't want to miss a shot. And now he's been very aware here and he's noticed that the Annihilator is going to come to the outside. So he pulls out there, gets a very nice snap into the Annihilator's tracks and gets himself safe into cover. Now that the Annihilator's fired, pulls out, gets another shot off. Unfortunately, it does not do any damage, but this Annihilator doesn't want to know him, so he's just going to stay on the back end. He's going to get in here, he's going to help his teammate out, and he's going to, in a second here, hopefully put the kill shot into the Annihilator, and unfortunately for that T-44, he wasn't able to be saved. But, again, great gameplay, and exactly how you should play a light tank. Now, Repositioning from there to here, he's already reset his camo, he's taken that shot, he has been spotted, he is looking for the second shot with his shell, but nobody's there, so he's just going to use his mobility once again, just to move out the way, make it look like he's moving, now that his camo's reset, he's going to pull back into that location, and he's just going to use his spotting range, and basically, try and take out tanks like this AT-15, very nice high roll there into the top hatch, and gets the second one off, just going a little bit too high. And whew, see those traces come across. One from the AT and three from that Annihilator. That could have been very, very dangerous for him. But look at the enemy team here. They are all looking really, really beat up. Now, it is a two versus five. It's not going to stay that way for very long. This AT-15 is going to find himself very unlucky. Very good shot there. And Firebolt goes for the full reload. Exactly what he should be doing. And repositioning again, he sees his teammates still pretty healthy, he knows that tanks are encroaching on him, he's going to go give him a hand. Now, here, he could snap a shot at that T-49, but he does not. He saves his shell, he wants to make sure that he's going to hit with every shot he fires. And that's what you need to be doing, especially in light tanks. Uh, make sure you hit those shots, they are all very vital. Gets two nice easy kills there, he's ready to get himself safe just in case that VK is looking at him. But he wasn't. Now the Annihilator does manage to do damage and Firebolt puts a very nice APCR right through his side armor. Uh, unfortunately for the Annihilator on his team though, he is not paying attention and he gets himself absolutely obliterated by the enemy Annihilator there. So now it is a 1 versus 1 and uh, both tier 7s are there and both very very healthy. So towards the end of a tier 8 match you don't expect to see this sort of thing. Now Firebolt does take 3 shells there which hurts it hurts a lot he's now essentially a one shot for this annihilator with those three shells or even two of those three shells is enough to take him out at this point i do like that though he gets the shot on the annihilator as he's going around the corner thinks about taking another shot but thinks better of it now he's just going to use this tank's mobility he's going to get away he's going to reset his camo and he's going to look for different avenues of attack on the annihilator and right here this is amazing use of your tank's profile. He sees, you know, the Annihilator could be around there, so he backs up. It's a rear-mounted turret, so he's going to expose less of his tank, plus he's already aimed forward, so he can drive away really quick if he needed to. Now, unfortunately, 
he uh, did get spotted running through that little section there. And if he had managed to get away with that, it would have been absolutely awesome for him. But he is going to sort of just drive around and find out where he can take his next angle of attack from. He's not rushing, he's got two minutes on the board, and he's using that view range. Now, he's going to clip the Annihilator on the side here. Very good shot. Uh, unfortunately crashes into the wall and gets very, very lucky. Those shells from the Annihilator just went flying over top. And that brings us back to what I was saying just before. Aim your, aim your shots. Make sure they hit. It's vital. Every single one of them. That Annihilator could have won the game just there. But he rushed his shot and missed. Again, he gets one shell out of three into the spick there and takes damage for it. Now, now they're both one shots. This is anybody's game at this point, but with the way the Annihilator is playing, a good player like Firebolt here in the Spic, doing the right thing, repositioning, using the map, using all of the map, not just a small section of it, but every single inch of this map, to his advantage. Now, the Annihilator didn't spot him going across there because he did not take the shot. And that's allowed him to be able to pull right up this channel in behind here totally unspotted and this annihilator is going to get caught off guard just like that amazing game there firebolt thank you for sending me that in um hope this helps some of you guys out there i know some people have been asking me over at prime time uh to train them in the use of light tanks watching people like firebolt here play these tanks is gonna help you do it he gets the ace mastery here he gets 2231 damage Six kills with the Pulgs medal. I mean, you can't ask more than that out of a Spick in a tier 8 match on Himmelsdorf. That was just absolutely astounding gameplay. And I hope this helps some of you. I, I really do. Um, until next time, guys, stay safe, use cover. Cheers.